Hello YouTube. Uh, I haven't made a video in a number of years um, and I don't know why this topic is the one that that is making me want to make a video again. I've made plenty of other videos and just haven't posted them but I think I might post this one. We'll see. Uh, none of my old videos got any views. This one won't either. I just feel like like doing it because I'm not seeing a lot of this. I'm sure that there's people making these claims because I haven't really done a lot of research on like arguments about media coverage of this topic. I've just read a bunch on this topic specifically. And the topic is Nathan Larson. If you're lucky and you haven't heard of about Nathan Larson, he's a 30-something year old guy from Charlottesville, Virginia. So we already know it's going down <laughs> um, just by the location. Um, he is running for Congress. I believe, if I'm sorry if I get this wrong, I believe the 10th district. Yes. Um, which isn't even, which doesn't contain Charlottesville, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not totally sure, but I think that that's the case. Um, who gives a fuck, right? Who gives a fuck about some dude running for, um, running for Congress in Virginia? Uh, the reason we we as a collective country um, care is because this guy um, says that he supports incestuous marriage, incestuous relationships in general, but also those who le that lead to marriage. Um, he believes that it should be perfectly legal to rape women. And he also believes that it should be perfectly legal to rape children, including incestual rape. Um, so not just consensual, in, not just consensual incest, also non-consensual incest should be allowed. He's quoted as saying on some blog post that he created that he wanted to bang his daughter, who by the way is three, he doesn't have custody of her. Um... So forth and so on. I'll leave links in the bio so that you can read more on him if you want to. My point in making this video is to say hypocritically that I don't think any news organization should be talking about this guy. Any news platform should be talking about this guy whatsoever. Okay? I have one reason and then I have a major reason. Okay? So I'll get to that. And uh, but first I want to say I recognize the hypocrisy of this. My reasoning for being able to talk about this is that this will get zero views. And in the title I'm going to write, you know, Nathan Larson is a disgusting waste of fucking human garbage. And so YouTube won't, it will never be suggested to anyone ever. So I don't consider myself news. But I think that anything from mainstream media news to... Um, alternative forms of news, which are now kind of mainstream, is YouTube, um, mainly YouTube. I can't think of another alternative form of, oh, Twitter, social, social media in general. I don't think anybody with a platform that people listen to, I don't think they should talk about this guy at all. Like, not one iota. Um, there are three reasons, actually. Let's go for three reasons. The first one is the obvious one, so that's why I'm making it the first one that I'm not going to go into too much because we're all fairly capable of of, of figuring this out. Um, not that you're not capable of figuring the rest out, but you know this is the least uh, least uh, complex. Is that what he says he believes in and what he supposedly is um, is disgusting. I mean, th there's literally. I mean, that's just, you'd have to have a horse kick to the face to not realize what he's saying is disgusting, idiotic, ridiculous, so forth and so on. It's, it's, it's a piece of steaming garbage. It's below the garbage, okay? It's the, it's the, it's the decomposing waste below garbage, okay? So, that's one reason why. There's no reason to promote what he says he believes in or what he says he's done or what he says he supports. The second reason 
is that him saying this will trigger those who actually do act in these ways. Well, has the potential to trigger. I don't want to say will. But if, let's say, a, let's say members of these incel communities are actually pedophiles, active, active pedophiles, child molesters, I'll say, um, or rapists, them seeing a guy who maybe they had been on his forum when it was up are now seeing him make it big, like having an interview with the Huffington Post. And they feel energized and they feel supported and represented, may go out and commit more crimes. I mean, this is a possibility. For example, Trump becomes, becomes a running Republican candidate back in 2016. 2015, get my years mixed up. It's just, you know, it's felt like a lifetime. <laughs> uh, and crimes against people of color increased. I don't think that that's like, I don't think those two, I don't think Trump's rise, uh, rise in media coverage and rise in political um, legitimacy, if you want to say that, I don't think that is totally separate from the rise in crime against people of color. Uh, so that's the second reason that he could possibly, and I would not be shocked to hear that he has incited the sick faction, even though all incels are kind of sick, but like the small, the, the faction of incels that actually commit crimes um, to go out and commit more crimes or to feel justified in their crimes. The third one, and I know this is a bold claim, uh, and it's one we don't want to believe in because it feels so good to believe that, that this guy is a pedophile and that he does believe all these things. And it feels good to us liberals and left-wingers because it's like, see, this is what Trump did. He ignited the crazy, and now it feels like it can come out and give a parade, okay? It's got its own fucking pride parade. Um, and the right-wingers and conservatives and Republicans love to see this guy get news coverage because they can say, you guys think we're that and we're not and we'll show you. Like, th they, they look less crazy against this fucking nutbag. Okay, so I know it feels real good to all sides for this guy to exist, get news coverage, and for us to believe the things that he says. But here's my claim. I think that everything he says is bullshit. And I don't mean that in that, yes, of course, it's disgusting, it's bullcrap, the things he's saying are horrible. I mean, I think he's a stone-cold fucking liar. I think th this guy lived, at least he, from last I heard, lived in the basement of his parents' home, stayed on his computer almost 24-7, had already lost his wife and his child, and had, and was also a, a criminal at one point. He was arrested and, and imprisoned for threatening um, President Barack Obama's life. So... A racist? Maybe. Cuckoo crazy? Probably. But I think he's saying these things to get attention. I think, and I, I don't mean to get all psychobabbly, but this is my belief, I think that this guy is the biggest loser in the world and he knows it. And I think that he's lost everything, just like he said, he has nothing to lose. He said in the Huffington Post, let me get to it. Um... Here we go. Here's the gem. A lot of people are tired of political correctness and being constrained by it. People prefer when there's an outsider who doesn't have anything to lose and is willing to say what's on a lot of people's minds. 
The other thing is, I don't think this guy, so first, I think he's a fucking loser who knows he's a loser. The second thing is he's lost everything. He's lost his wife, his kids, his, um, his, his, his sense of, of, of freedom, because when you go to prison, you know, a lot of that sense of, of self-actualization and freedom is ripped away from you. Uh, and probably a lot of respect from everyone because he lives in the basement of his parents' house at the age of 30 plus years old. Um, so I think that for all those reasons, this guy is lying for attention. Just like, and I know they're not the same, I know this guy probably hasn't killed anyone, but just like mass killers... The, the the multitude that we've had over the past 30 decades, I don't mean to laugh, but it's just fucking ridiculous, is all they want. Time and time again, we see it. We get their, we get the, the, the posts they made on Twitter or their Facebook posts or their diary or whatever. All they want is fame. All they want to do is be listened to and, and not seen as a loser. So they do this crazy fucking, sometimes horrific, sometimes laughable, sometimes just dis just despicable things to get attention. And what do we do? We fucking give it to them. And the same thing is happening with this guy. And he's pulling the wool over everybody's eyes by making... We're so quick to believe because we love it. We want to see somebody worse than we are. Or corroborating a, our belief that a group of people is horrible. Is everybody loves the boogeyman because it makes everything else seem better. So right now he's an easy boogeyman to have. But he's fucking lying. Is he... He's never banged his daughter... I don't think he's been around children at all. Um, so maybe in some theoretical sense, just to, you know, fill his boring fucking days, he says he believes in incestuous relationships and rape and making children and women property. Um, but in any real, like, like push comes to shove, putting your money where your mouth is, thank God... I think he's a fucking bullshitter. I think he's creating a fantasy in his head and he's bringing us all along on the ride. And so I think it's a waste of time. It's a good story to tell. Maybe you can write a fiction book about it, you know, a horror story about it. But it shouldn't be taking up real news. What should be taking up real news is the things that are happening in Syria. Is the refugee crisis that's been going on for... Ugh, So I'm just getting too frustrated. I'll go on and on forever. Um, so sorry for how long this video was. Comment if you agree. Like if you agree. Or you don't have to. Peace.